hold down command, then click on an app to move its window in the background without actually activating it. In this video, I will share some of the most secret productivity tips and tricks for your MacBook that you probably had no clue existed. So pay close attention because they will get increasingly more jaw-dropping. When taking a screenshot with Command Shift 4, hold down the Control key as well and this will have the screenshot immediately copied to your clipboard and not saved on the desktop. That way, when you send the screenshot over to someone, you won't have to come back and delete it. Most Mac apps allow you to press Command plus Shift plus question mark, which opens up the Help slash Search feature. From there, you can type and execute any command available available in the app. Not only does that save you from using your mouse, it is also a quick way to discover the keyboard shortcut for the command, which lets you learn it and execute it even faster the next time. And if you use Chrome Profiles, which I covered in my How to Work Faster in a Browser video, you can press Command plus Shift plus M, then scroll through your Chrome Profiles with Tab, and then hit Enter to quickly switch between your profiles without using your mouse. Next if you have too many productivity apps running on your Mac that you don't really need or want to see in your menu bar, you can hide those icons by using an app called Hidden Bar, which is similar to Bartender, the only difference is that it's free. Speaking of handy apps, this one is called Mackie, which is a simple yet functional clipboard manager and it only does one simple thing. It keeps your copy history at hand whenever you need it without overloading you with other unnecessary features. Now another productivity tip another one. is when you are working with a window in the foreground, you can click a button in another window without activating it by holding down the command key and clicking. This significantly reduces the number of times you need to switch back and forth between what you were doing. Now if you want to extract text from any image, you can simply hover over that text and you will be able to select it and copy. When you're ready to do focused work, it's also useful to hide all the icons on your desktop. If you install an app called Hidden Me, you will be able to do that with a simple click of a button from your menu bar. Also, if you want to find more useful utilities like this one, I will leave a link to a custom YouTube playlist that I've made in the description. Now, in your system preferences, if you go to keyboard and then select text, you will be able to create text replacements. This could be really useful if you constantly have to send someone your email, website or other details, so to be more productive, instead of having to type them out each time, you can just create a replacement. Whilst you're still in the keyboard settings, go over to the Dictation tab and enable Dictation. Since on average, humans are able to speak around 150 words per minute and type only 40 words per minute, this feature will save you a lot of time by letting you dictate text anywhere instead of having to type it out. I prefer to have my hotkey to start dictating set to pressing the function key twice. Next, you can split up your screen using split view by holding on the maximize icon with your mouse or better yet, install a free app called Rectangle to be able to create the same effect but five times faster. And of course, I wasn't able to fit all of the best Mac productivity tips there are into this one video. That's why here's another one that will increase your productivity by 10, maybe even a hundred times.